It's time now for the Peter Channel News Evening Report, Tuesday, September 9, 2014. Good evening, everybody. I'm Peter Wiggins. This is what's happening in the world news. Our top story is Apple finally made its big entry into the wearable technology market on Tuesday and veiled in the Apple Watch, its long anticipated smartwatch. President Robert meets with Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, Speaker John Boehner, Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid, and House Minority Leader Nancy Billy to know for since September 9, which is today, on how to have their strategy on stop in Nilzama State. Board kid of the White House really can't be bothered with the president as in the Soviet House photo taken on June 23rd, President Barack Obama visited the Department of the United States Secret Service agent to his wife on the White House account. She said about a man who punched her lights out. He's standing about a woman who spat in his face. Ray Russell's wife, Janae, spoke out Tuesday the day after he was fired by the Baltimore Ravens and suspended by the NFL for knocking her out in an Atlantic City hotel. Massachusetts voters headed to the polls to choose their party's candidates and big decisions are headed by the governor and attorney general in various local elections. As I provided a report from Norton High School. Hello, I'm Peter Wiggins here, and we are here at the Norton High School Gymnasium here in North Massachusetts, where I just voted for the Democrat primary election at the state in Massachusetts, and town clerk Dennis Sicard says hello, and it's to be a good turnout in the town of Norton and every town around the country and town around the state as people tend to vote their choice for the vote, the one who will be voting and will be do good. And let's see what we'll find out. Peter J. Wiggins pointed to Peter Channel News at the North High School Gymnasium here in Norton, Massachusetts. And there you have it with your your three little old report here on the Massachusetts primary at North High School here. Dutch experts say that Malaysia Airlines flight MH17 broke up in the midair after being hit an object that pierced the plane at high velocity in July. In Lynn, Massachusetts, more than 30 Lynn Community Health Center employees and air patients being tested to determine if they were exposed to tuberculosis and after center to to confirm the case. If named one of the Greater Boston Resort Casino license, when resorts would have to consider and redesign the nature of the proposed hotel tower and in its every casino plan, and according to our recommendation of the state, Gambling Commission will consider. President Obama will meet with the Congressional Leaders of Office in the White House on Tuesday to discuss his options covering Madden and Islamic State. A science scan sort of image and underwater video of one of the two second British ships on Sir John Franklin's 1845 expedition to the Arctic and seen in material provided by Parks Canada, a federal government agency. In Edinburgh, Scotland, British Prime Minister David Cameron on Tuesday said that these will travel Scotland on Wednesday to campaign for a no vote eight days after head of Scotland's independent referendum. The Prince of Wales. Ask of that he hopes for the two contentions at Cambridge of a girl as he described becoming grandfather the second time as funded news. In Berlin, the uneasy truce in the southeastern Ukraine appears mostly to be holding a development that the Russian government and in Moscow is celebrating as hopeful sign for the besieged region. Memphis, Tennessee, dense woods with the remains of a Tennessee woman were discovered by two hunters who had been searched by the air and ground in which she vanished three years ago, but no signs of the nursing student were found, as Sheriff said. The bodies of five children missing from Lexington County, South Carolina, have been recovered in Alabama and Butler County, Alabama, and Sheriff Kenny Harden confirmed the discovery late Tuesday afternoon. In New York, U.S. stocks fell on Tuesday as Apple shares declined and the bond yields hit the highest in the month concerns that the Federal Reserve could raise the interest rate sooner than some investors expected. The all on Tuesday notch gains in against major emerging market currencies driven by investor expectations by the Federal Reserve next week and will send firmer signals on higher interest rates. Brasilia, the Brazilian finance ministry, said on Tuesday that Moody's decision to lower the country's debt rating not looked to not take into account of the recovery of the economy in the second half of the year. That deal will be invalid in more than $2 million and can be signed by the early this week. The president said Maxwell spoke to the client of Commandant Zid Bunjing, CEO, Kalman. What if Biker Drama sends an anarchy waving up to 7 and final season premiere to the 9 at 10 p.m.? Sends an anarchy to intelligence officer who's well mean. But ill advised actors have done to their fair share to keep the show's chaos. While Joan Rivers was best known for her work as a comedian, she spent a portion of her career doing theater, appearing in Broadway's production of 1981, Fun City, 1988 Spider Man, 1994 Sally Martin, and Esports. Ashley Tisdale has graduated a new award set as a high school musical star announced on Tuesday that Instagram that she attended on with a fiance, Christopher French, the lead singer of Any Automatic. 
Pick Palatine just at a wireless. University have an error for this. Partial skills and entirely new species of Tantan Sor, the massive airboards that were the largest animals ever to walk on the planet. Canada's travel weather and events are increasing around the world like the flooding that hit Norfolk, Virginia Monday. Science blamed the disaster and climate change caused by the rising greenhouse gas concentrations. As the world gets warmer, the Baltimore will be no longer found in Maryland, but the Baltimore Oriole. The Mississippi cat will move north and east and pretty much out of the namesake state. Doctors and scientists earlier showed that the inability to make a real revolve dangerous of autism and spectrum disorder until the toddler turns two years old. A fast spreading virus related in hand through the mouth disease is caused by kids across the Midwestern parts of the South. In Tuesday, 9 out of 10 Americans' kids eat more salt than they should raise their lifelong risk of high blood pressure and heart disease, a new federal government report shows. Libraries face an serious threat to this national existence as the Ebola virus spreads the wildfire there, and the defense minister said. Take a look at our stock market report here. Our stock. Dow Jones 1703 closed down 9755. SP 519.844 down 13.10. And NASA 4552.29 down 40 points. Take a look at our sports here. Sports news here. Atlanta Hawks minor owner Jay Michael Guerin sent a letter on June 12th to Benjoy owner Bruce Levinson regarding general manager standing first offensive comment on a conference call with ownership call for first dismissal. A former minor league. Hockey player and former physicians and sister were arrested on Tuesday and connected with a 2011 overdose death of New York Rangers tough guy Dirk Bugard. And in demand, DeRozan of the United States went faster the ball with Slovenia Zoran directly returned in the Basketball World Cup quarterfinal for the Palo St. Jody in Brussels, and Spain on Tuesday. Take a look at the traffic situation here on this Tuesday, and it shows an accident on. An accident on 495 on the southbound side near the Mass Pike. 120 in northbound, an accident near the Pike. Mass Pike westbound also from 93 down through Brew Tunnel and Route 3 on the northbound low connector. And an accident here at the end of the low connector here. And Route 495 southbound side also from Route 95 in Mansfield to Route 140 Mansfield due to the concert at the Xfinity Center. Now let's take a look at our forecast here for tonight. Patch of after 4 a.m. Watts, most clouds got a little 55 degrees. North face would about at 7 miles per hour. Wednesday, patch back before 8 a.m. Watts, but the sand sky under 73 degrees. North face would about at 7 miles per hour. Wednesday night, chances drizzle after 2 a.m. Watts. Patch back after 11 p.m. Watts, most clouds got a little 58 degrees east, would about 5 miles coming common in the evening. Thursday, chances drizzle when or before 8 a.m. Then a slight change of shots after 4 p.m. Patch back before 10 a.m. Watts, most clouds got a little. Hydro 70 degrees and calm wind becoming south about 5 to 8 miles per hour in the morning. Thursday night, shots of thunderstorms likely before 3 a.m. and then a chance to showers. Punch about over as most clouds got low in 60 degrees and south wind about 5 to 7 miles per hour. Transpiration 6%. Friday, slight chance of showers before 10 a.m. on most of the sky in 74 degrees. Transpiration 20%. Friday night, pop clouds got low in 54 degrees. Saturday, put the sky in 7 degrees and low about 54 degrees. Sunday, most of the sky in the sky in 73, low about 53 degrees. Monday, most of the sky in the sky in 69, low about 52 degrees. And for Tuesday, most of the sky is 71 degrees. Norton temperature is 67 degrees with a humidity of 71 percent. Winds pay variable about 3 miles per hour. Brown 3.22 inches, 2 but about 57 degrees and visibly 10 miles. That's the way for period channel news on this September 9th, 2014. And on Tuesday, PGA was a good evening with a good positive. See you for the full report at 11 o'clock. Have a good evening with a good positive.